Hello and welcome. So uh, winter is upon us and uh, it's chilly and I was contacted by a company called Okupa to see if I wanted to uh, test out one of their new model rechargeable hand warmers and I said yes and, uh, and they sent one out to me and here it is. I'm about to go out for the day and I'm going to take it with me but I thought I better open it at home in case it needs charging before I go anywhere. So. I'm going to um, just open it up quickly and we'll have a look at what's in the box and then I'm going to go out so um, we'll uh, do most of this in situ but first off inappropriate use of a massive knife let's get it out of the box <coughs> as I say this is a rechargeable hand warmer and you know, I've used hand warmers, I've used the disposable ones, but using anything disposable, I always feel a little bit bad about it. So having something that's more reusable, I think is a better option. I can finally get it out of the box. It's nicely packaged. Oh, seriously, it is, it looks nice. So let's put it on here. Put my knife away before I do myself an injury. Okay, no, that's, that's pretty, isn't it? It's like a box of chocolates. Oh, that is quite attractive, isn't it? Oh, it is working. Long press on the button turns it on, and then you just press the button to cycle through low, medium, and high settings. I'll say I will give it a bit of charge before I go anywhere. What else is in the box though? You get a lanyard and charging cable. Oh, and that's quite neat. I wonder how snugly that fits in there. Because obviously, if you're going to put this in your sleeping bag or in your pocket, having it in its protective bag is probably sensible. That's pretty nice. It's a lovely material. Should really turn it on. Let's whack it up on full for a few minutes. So charging wise, that is a USB-C, I think. And the lanyard will go in that little hole there. It's getting warm already. So then, yeah, you've got USB-C to charge in there, but also you have a uh, USB slot, so you can use this as a power bank as well. Obviously, it would eat its power, and uh, you'd then get less out of this for what its actual purpose is. But in an emergency, having a, the ability to charge your phone on something else is, is a nice feature, I think. Oh yeah, that's... That's toasty and warm. Okay, so. So, yeah. So that's it. In a nutshell, that is what you get in the box. So it says blue indicator lights will blink to show power level while charging. Three lights indicate the full charge. One light means it's on low. It says avoid using the heat function whilst it's charging. Oh, that's lovely and warm. I like this. Okay, so it says double press the button to show the current power level. So it does need charging, so I better do that. Charging a mobile device. Connect the USB. The mobile device should begin to charge automatically. The blue hand warmer lights will illuminate to indicate the power status of the unit itself. While charging a mobile device, the heat function is disabled to prevent overheating. When you remove your mobile device, the heat functions will recontinue. So that's good. So indicator lights, solid red lights is the heat level. Blue lights, if they flash, then it's low battery. When they're blinking, it means it's charging. The middle light is green. The hand warmer is under quick charge. So this is a quick charge function. Three solid blue lights, charging complete. So there we go. So that is the Akupa hand warmer, 
and uh, I'm going to take it out for the day. So, I've been out in the woods today and um, I had this hand warmer with me, we charged it up before we went out. been out with my wife and um, mostly she's had this um, and we'll get her thoughts on it in a minute. But uh, let's just tell you a bit about the specifications while I've got your attention. So the manufacturers say that uh, this has a quick charge on it and the battery will last 6 to 12 hours. Now I'm guessing it's 12 hours on low and 6 hours on high. You know, these sorts of things, they can be good for arthritis and things like that. <coughs> but as I touched on earlier, there is a safety aspect to this in that, um, you know, there's nothing actually burning in here. My God, that's hot. Um, inside its little packaging, it doesn't feel too bad, but that is almost, I can't, almost can't hold it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, yeah, as I say, you know, them ones that you light something inside them and then close the lid on them, you know, they've got something burning in them. So if you've got kids around camp or, um, or you're going to leave it unattended, you know, throw it in a sleeping bag or whatever, you can, you know, come a cropper with that sort of thing. You know, if kids open it up, that's dangerous. So there's a fire hazard there. Whereas this is just a sealed unit, um, battery operated. So they are marginally safer than carrying a, a flaming thing in your pocket. So on that score, I'm quite pleased with it. I've used the disposable ones before, and they're really good, but you know, you use them once and then you throw them away. So that creates a fair amount of waste over time. So I'm very pleased to have this. Now they both stay a thousand milliamp uh, battery on this, which doesn't mean a lot to me because I don't really understand that kind of thing, but for those of you that do, I'm sure that's quite impressive. I think a lot of these are 500, 750, that sort of thing. So this one's a thousand. This company, they do sell other ones. Um, they do really nice coloured ones that are a little bit smaller, and I think they're 750, but this one is, did I say 1,000? 10,000, I think it is. And with the fast charge, I think this takes three hours to charge, which sounds a lot, but given that it's a power bank as well, um, you know, I've plugged my power bank in and it's taken all day to charge. So three and a half hours is not too bad at all. And this is quite lightweight. It's not the smallest thing ever, but as I say, the other ones they sell are, um, are a little bit smaller and a bit more kind of, you know, pocket sized. And this is pocket sized. Let's get something to compare it. I've got a phone here. This is an iPhone 8. Um, and as you can see, it's not as big as that. It's not quite as wide either. So uh, yeah, it's smaller than the phone. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It, it reminds me of the old flip phones you used to have, those sort of clamshell ones. It's about that sort of size. Um, but it does fit nicely in the pocket. And I wouldn't have any qualms about, you know, putting it inside its uh, carry case and just leaving it in my sleeping bag in the evening, which I will do next time I'm out camping. Um, so, uh, you know, stay tuned and we'll get a progress report as we go. So overall, I quite like this. You know, it's, it's, it's very tactile. It reminds me of a bar of soap, only warm. And I think I'll be using it right through the winter. This lanyard is nice and stretchy, feels very stable. I haven't tried charging my phone, maybe I'll do that in a minute. As I say, it's been in the hands of my wife uh, all day, so um, let's get her thoughts on it. So Mr. CLB, You've had this all day. When I took it off you, it was in this bag and it, it felt warm, but it didn't feel ridiculously warm. But when I took it out, I almost couldn't hold it. I had it on three yeah. and I couldn't hold it. <laughs> okay, so it does get very hot. It's nice though. Yeah. I, I've had it down my back. Oh, uh, Carly's, <laughs> uh, Carly's been laying in a hammock while I've been doing stuff and um, she's been drawing and what have you. And you've had it stuffed in your back. Yeah. And your thoughts are? It's brilliant. I'm used to the old ones. When mm. I was little, some old people that I knew that had a farm, they had a little box and it was tiny. Yeah. And I like the size of that. This, for me, is quite chunky, but the amount of heat actually mm. is quite substantial, so it's worth it. I think if you're out camping, yeah. it's a... I'd, I'd, in fact, you, can, this. you can also charge your phone off it. I think that's quite a neat feature. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's really cool. Yeah, well, you got USB for that. 
USB-C for charging it up. Your base? Yeah. So it's got three inputs in there. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I like it. I like the feel of it as well. Yeah, so I say it's tactile, isn't it? It's got it's, a nice finish on it. It has, and it's also got a rubber bit, so it's kind of almost non-slip, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's quite slippery. Well, they do actually say yeah. in the in the gump, they say it's drop resistant, so... Yeah, it's got a bit of sponge. That's, that's the rubber part on it. And I like the different the fact you can have different temperatures. Yeah, that's another advantage, isn't it? The, um, the ones that take fuel, I say I gave John one, and it had a stick that you lit, mm. and it burned like a like a cigarette in a way and it sat in a little thing and you close the lid on it that, i gave that to him for christmas he left it in his sleeping bag it burned a hole in it <laughs> it was his it was his good rab down bag oh, and it had a massive hole in oh, it that's not good. i felt this, really bad i guess another thing with the temperatures on this is that when it is on three and it does get very hot when you turn it down it does cool down quite quickly okay cool so you're keeping it, are you? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I'll, I'll go then. Product tester extraordinaire. <laughs> Clear off. <laughs> Take you. <laughs> I really want to. <laughs> now I've put a link in my video description where you can buy these. They're an Amazon thing. I, I can't remember how much they are. 20, 30 pounds, something like that. But that's about it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.